opponent uh, with their duck hunt. Uh, going, sticking with the sticking with the bear, uh, the dog and the bird. Slightly different. Yeah, no, Fauna has been playing really well lately. Oh, yeah. And I mean, it's been, that set against Dill was really good. Yeah. Check it out on House of 3000 on yeah. YouTube. Hey, you yo. Watch it. <laughs> <laughs> we'll hit you with the ad slides a little what? bit later, but... Exclamation point VODs in chat, by the way, also directly leads to any VODs that we're looking for, basically leading to the House of 3000 YouTube channel. And we'll give you more, we'll give you all of the, the whole rundown a little bit later as we get to watch the scrappy affair that is uh, basically any Duck Hunt game. Not quite literally scrappy in the sense of it's a lot of close interactions, but there's just a lot of stuff on the screen a whole lot. And there are a lot of stuff you have wow. to respect. Shout out to the up throw laser connecting with the can to make that up throw even more deadly. Just substituted out the can for the laser. Oops. So <laughs> happy accidents. All right, that reflector doing so much. And I do really like the way that Tilde threw out the second reflector to hit the, the goon again, making sure that Pawn wasn't able to get another one out but just down airing the can. Can is so good and same at the same time just so mediocre. Live by the can and die by the can. Yeah. Frame one escape option akin to grenade, really cool. Uh, Kills you sometimes. The, <laughs> the fact that it can affect both players it definitely kind of sucks. Combine that with uh, Falco having that frame one massive reflect box turns so many of these traps into just distractions for Tilde so long as they stay patient. Which he's doing a pretty good job uh, here. Well, this could be a kill, but Tilde, what a wear. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> be gone. Wow, Nair from Ledge. Just, that's usually pretty brave, all things considered. Especially since, uh, while, while Duck Hunt doesn't have the most reliable smash attacks, uh, Up Smash is definitely. Up Smash and Nair are both very good options. Just like that down air, extending the hitbox with the duck and getting right through the stage, even through Falco's beat. Yeah, until they even had, you know, a great angle riding up the side of the small battlefield platform, but now it's looking to get some edge guards of his uh, own. This is going poorly. The lasers force the low recovery, but looking for the two frame. One thing that I feel like Tilde doesn't do often is drop zone Nair of all mm -hmm. things. Or drop or, or run off double jump Nair. Nair is often just used as a as a mid combo point rather than a an extender or an edge guarding tool. Which, to be fair, down air and forward air give you a lot more reward. But neutral air is just one of those consistent options that I feel like is so important to Falco's kit because if you start burning resources, then you find those dares that much easier. And I mean, I feel like especially in this matchup, uh, you know, once you can force Fawn to recover low, you know, Duck Hunt up B doesn't really have a hitbox unless Fawn has a can to cover themselves. Uh, so, you know, getting that huge multi-hit hitbox just going to be burning Fawn's or resources even further. But we're getting close to down tilt percent for kills or that just rising down dare. There. Yeah, no jumping from ledge. This hitbox is there and waiting for you and Fawn. They need to find an up air. Some up airs like that close to the top of the ceiling is important as no shortage of kill power on Duck Hunt up air, especially with some of these, uh, with these gun traps. Man, Frame just, one reflector. It's just so good. It's just the clay so pigeon good. was in Falco's face, and he's still like, able to no, reflect it out. No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> and just the the mixture of everything. Tilde walking everywhere in a lot of places, still moving forward, but taking their time, always having access to that downbeat as a threat. So even when, uh, so Fawn has to be very, very choosy, even if there's no reflector. And we're seeing plenty of use of it. Oh, going into the Ooh. jab. Huge trap here, but the reflect on the can is, the reflect on the can is important, but the low recovery was an easy down air for Fawn. They have an opportunity here. No short, uh, plenty of opportune setups if you're able to find something crazy, but Tilde reads the spot dodge and gets that equally as crazy, but more consistently apparent, that Falco back air. Yep, finding a setup of his own using that down air. Yeah, a couple of pretty important down airs all across the board as uh, Tilde, you know, a, a melee enjoyer. They they partake, a smash two enjoyer rather. Smash two. Yeah, uh, they, enjoy, uh, they enjoy the Falco dare as mm -hmm. 
you know, reading spot dodges with it is so huge in a game that where spot dodge is such a prevalent option and such an easily usable option. We're running right back to the small battlefield. Bands being FD and Pokemon Stadium, uh, the longest stages in the rule set. So Spawn just goes right back to it goes right back to small battlefield, and, and what I assume is they're trying to take advantage of the fact that this is a small, thanks to the smaller stage, they can create chaos a little bit more easily. But man, that's triple dare on a platform. <laughs> yeah, and I mean, you know, Duck Hunt obviously definitely wants to create more chaos, but it just feels like uh, no matter how much chaos you're throwing out, Tilde just kind of has the one button answer to it all. Yeah, it's just a matter of how can you condition uh, Tilde into not using it. And a lot of times their answer has been, hey, I'm going to fight out of disadvantage and I'm going to fight out of the corner because I can get a lot of damage while you're looking for dare and while you're looking for finishers. That's when you're not pressing reflect. Mm -hmm. It's it's a neat inversion, I will definitely say, but it's also a, a, a tenuous one as you see the percents climbing higher and higher. If you're scrapping out of the corner, then if you're scrap more, trying to scrap more in general, you're leaving yourself open to openers like that down air, setting up for a perfect air dodge read with that up smash. Yeah, Falco definitely one of the best in the biz when it comes to scrapping up close. Oh, yeah. Very, very strong. Uh, frame three neutral there. It, and it's a move that Tilde barely uses. <laughs> Not barely, but you know what I mean. He needs it. He needs it. <laughs> oh, can <laughs> Actually needs it, though. <laughs> Are you not frame tight? Let's trade. <laughs> it's gonna be an up throw though, up throw to back air, 78 and climbing, trying to hold on to this lead trap. Again, looking for the two frames with some of these down airs and down tilts. Man. Still had time to throw out that reflector. That auto cancel window is so good. All right, great timing on the get up attack by Fawn, getting themselves some space to work back into this neutral and find some more openings. Setting up the gunman, but the up smash arcing just behind Tilde and Fawn. They didn't fast fall quick enough in order to avoid that in time. No, I, I think Fawn was trying to mix up their timing there with uh, some empty landings, but Tilde was just ready there with the, with the call out. Not getting all the hits in there, though, and eating two cans of result. Tilde is ever, pa ever the patient and ever the observant. Ooh. So, I mean, you gotta, gotta keep an eye on the gunman. Down air, down not air. going for it. Tilde actually recovering straight up that time. You know, we've seen Tilde like ride the platform. Uh, so, probably seeing like a timing mix up. Fawn was, Fawn had been ready previously for that timing. So, just recovering straight. Getting Grizzly over here, trying to get some, uh, trying to get something started. If you're Fawn, you got. You got to close out this stock with one of these pokes, but nothing doing as of yet. Oh, the can. Just the lack of raw hit kill power, even with can at 151 close to the ledge, it just doesn't send at the right angle. That dude lost his hat, and we're. He's so distraught. He's, he's floored. He cannot by believe this. this. <laughs> All right, Fauna uh -oh. is able to bring things to even stocks, but 105 right now. Tilde could definitely be looking for the kill soon. Back air almost doing it so far across the stage. That was so scary for Fawn right there. The uh, reflected can almost taking it. Ooh. Wow, the down smash wasn't close enough to hit that air dodge. Careful with the Ooh. landing hitbox. Oh, the just infinite buttons on the shield. The Falco Phantasm was still enough. 163, Ooh. and there it is. They out the get-up attack. Yeah, Tilde had been playing pretty close to the ledge, all things considered, with close-up down tilts and pressuring with down airs really, really close for mm -hmm. much of the set. And this one, I feel like they just did what is... Uh, what was something they were doing basically the entire set when it comes to raw positioning, as if we could uh, get a look at that final stock again at some point. Yeah, here it is. Let's uh, slow this down. Just the jump backwards and that, right? Like this right here, this dash dance into a little bit of a walk forward. He wants to be right here, but dash dancing feigns coverage much longer to about here. Mm -hmm. So by dash dancing, they're creating a space. They're like, I'm covering all this space. You have to re you have to really consider a whole lot more. And by dash dancing, you're threatening initial dash, which gets beaten by this getup attack that Zane is going for. 
but the dash dance into a quick walk sets up not only the perfect positioning, but keeps Zane guessing. And that's always what you need with an offensive focused character, especially with one with such a prominent defensive tool against projectiles, is you need to keep, uh, you need to keep the opponent guessing about when and how those projectiles get used and when and how you can fight out of the corner. Mm-hmm.